Hey everybody, Corey here, First Order Transmissions, back with another Star Wars The Last Jedi review, and the day has come uh, where we're going to be reviewing the entire Last Jedi line uh, from Hasbro. Very excited to get these in. want to give a huge shout out to my new friend, Panama Collector. Uh, if you guys saw all the leaks from The Last Jedi figures, uh, he was the one who found all of them, and uh, he was kind enough to send me over a set. We worked on a deal, and he sent me all the figures, so thank you again, Panama Collector, for these. Um, so we're going to be reviewing Luke Skywalker first, because why wouldn't you start with Luke Skywalker? Uh, the way we're going to be doing this is I'll be reviewing a couple of the figures, and some of the other guys in the group will be reviewing some of the other figures in the coming days. So not all of them will be out today, but I, you know, I did the best first. So, uh, Yeah, this is Jedi Master Luke Skywalker from The Last Jedi, Hasbro 33 quarter inch line. Uh, like I've said in my previous videos, I don't have my uh, review studio um, up right now because I'm in an apartment, so I, I hope it's, you know, good quality for you guys. But, um, yeah, here he is in the packaging. I will say this packaging is very, very small compared to uh, the Legacy Collection and Clone Wars or even last year's Force or Rogue One figures. The packaging is definitely significantly small. It's kind of like the Rebels packaging from 2014, so definitely small packaging, but it's, it's it does the job. Skywalker Jedi Master and an image of Luke right there. And then on the back, we don't get a lot of information. We just see that, you know, there's no description of the characters anymore or other figures in the wave, which I think Hasbro is just doing, you know, not a good job at the back of the packaging at all. But here's uh, the Force Line starter set, Force Link. There's Kylo Ren. And there's Luke, and the actual, this looks like, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the show Ben 10, but this looks like the Omnitrix from that show, in my opinion, it's really interesting design, so. We're gonna go ahead and crack this guy open, and uh, see how good the last Jedi figures are. Alright, so here's Jedi Master Luke Skywalker out of the packaging, and guys, I've gotta say, this is an amazing figure for a 5 POA action figure, I, and I'm a fan of the 5 POA line, but some of them are hit or miss, this one is a definite hit, for sure, so. We're going to take a look at the head sculpt first. I think the likeness to Mark Hamill is pretty spot on. You know, it's it's the best I think they can really do for a three and three quarter figure. And they've definitely nailed the likeness. I mean, just look at that. Fantastic. And then, of course, he does have this PVC robe, which, let me tell you, this is so much better than the robes they were including in previous figures. You can just slip it off like that and slip it on very easily, so the robe is a PVC material like Krennix from Rogue One, so that's definitely a great bonus. I'm glad it's not cloth, because cloth never works. It just, it never works. So, this is awesome. It's got the hood. Oh yeah, unfortunately you can't put the hood up, but it is what it is. I think it looks good. And then of course, the actual figure himself. Um, yeah, I mean, he looks, the, the weathering and the, well, there's not much, well, there's a little bit of weathering on it. Um, I think the detail is pretty, pretty accurate to what we saw in The Force Awakens. I mean, we haven't seen him in full force in The Last Jedi, so we don't really know um, too much about accuracy. But I will say he does have a clip right there for a lightsaber. You can see right there. Much like a six-inch counterpartner. So, interesting. He doesn't come with any accessories, though. So, there's his belt, got some pouches there, and of course his robotic hand looks awesome. I think one thing I'll say about the hand, one little gripe I have is I think it's a little too black. It should be a little more metallic than just straight on black, so that's a bit of a bummer. But the way like he's gripping this hand is like he's supposed to hold something. Same deal with this one, so, I don't know. Um, and then he does have that U-joint here. I, I'm not a huge fan of it. You know, U-joints, they just look kind of awkward, but it's okay. It's a loop. No big deal. There's his boots. It's all around pretty good figure. So, <clears throat> one thing I was looking at here, so I'll show you guys this bit of information here. Um, this is regarding the Force Link. <clears throat> I believe the Force Link um, or the chip 
or yeah, yeah, I don't know. I guess the way the figures talk, it looks to me as if the chip that makes the figures talk are actually inside the figures. So, because there, yeah, there's definitely nothing here that that's a chip related or anything. So yeah, it it does look like there's some sort sort of um, chip inside the figure. So. I don't know if that'll affect the figures in the future, I'm not too sure. Like I said, I don't have the Force Link um, starter set that comes out on Force Friday. Uh, these do too, uh, by the way. Um, but yeah, as soon as I get the actual Force Link, I'll do a separate video uh, showing all the figures and, and what they say. So yeah, kind of wish I had that so I could see what Luke says, but we'll wait till Force Friday. So thank you guys for checking out this review. Um, next up we'll do Ray, and then we got Kylo Ren coming up, and then uh, who else do we have? I think a Stormtrooper, and then the other reviews will be coming in the coming days from the other guys. So thank you guys for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you. It's time for the Jedi to end.